In this section, I'm going to start with the curves for a candlestick. I'm going to be guiding you through some hands-on practice here. And the candlestick is going to be the first of two objects that we create. Now for that, what I'm going to do is start in my front viewport. I'm going to zoom way out so I can use more of our grid. I'll start with a control point curve. Notice I have my snap turned on. So I will snap to my grid point here. Now what I'm going to do is start with the base. So we're just going to come out, making kind of an ornamental candle holder base. And this doesn't have to be exactly precisely perfect at this point, but we want to get a pretty good idea. Come down here. Then I'm going to go out to here and right click to finish my line. Now I'm going to turn on my control points and just tune my curve a little bit more. And for the tuning I'll turn off snap so I can move these points around freely. Extra points can be deleted to smooth your shape a little bit more. So now we've got a smoother edge to that. And then out here I'm just going to kind of add more of a dip. And that looks pretty good. And now we have to make the candle. Again I'm going to take a curve here. And we can start from about down here where we figure the candle would end up when placed in the candle holder. And we'll go up to about here, maybe a little longer, and right click. Now what I'm going to do is turn on my control points, turn on my point object snap, so that I can snap to this point here. We're going to create the interior of the candle here. I'll turn off my points. Now these two curves need to be joined because that's how I'm going to create my candlestick. Then finally, I'll turn off my point snap. We're going to have some wax here. This wax will just kind of pour down the side a little bit. And the wick. And so these are our curves. Now up here, I'm going to leave those the way they are. In this curve here, we're going to scale a little bit. And that should be just about perfect. The only other thing is we may want to make a candle a little bit shorter. To do that, I would go down here and choose my 1D scale. Turn on ortho so I don't have to worry about straying. I'm going to be moving in a straight line. We'll scale it back a little bit to there. And there's our curves for our candlestick. Now what I'm going to do is save as candle.